Hey guys, uh, sorry if my voice sounds funny, a little sick. Um, just want to show you uh, my iPod Touch 4th generation, the new theme I've been using. It's a combination of things. I have this, uh, sorry, I got a text. <laughs> I got this thing right here. It's called, uh, Lock Info. It has my email and my, uh, calendar, along with weather, all right there. And then I just have... So slide to unlock my theme is just a power button. And I used Iconoclasm, which if you don't know is basically a thing just to make your icons go in certain orders. So now all my icons go in circles on every page. And um this is both wallpapers, the lock screen, this one are just pictures I got. Um this is basically the theme, what it did to the uh, outside with all the bubbles. It has this cool dock on it. Um, I also uh, use SB settings. Uh, it has a custom SB settings, which is cool. It has, um, obviously, custom Safari. Uh, it's hard to see, but like uh, little icons on the bottom and the top and stuff. And it also has a really, really cool music player. You can see uh, it's a Green Days album. Anyway, uh, I also customized it using Activator. I can do a lot of shortcuts with my iPod. For example, if I don't want to tap to unlock, I just want to unlock it right away. Just double tap, it's unlocked. Double tap on the power button. Uh, suppose it's locked in my pocket and I'm listening to music. I used uh, Activator to customize all the controls to these buttons right here. Um, so basically, I press both at the same time to play music and to pause. Uh, if I hold up next track and uh, what do you call it? Same if you hold down, it goes back. So, that's that. Um, sorry, I just paused it. Uh, I don't know what the next. Oh, because there was no next track. Sorry, guys. I was just playing that one song. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Wonder why that was working. Alright, so, hold, next track, next track. pause, previous track, etc. Um, so that's really cool because uh, I walk around school a lot, it's got this in my pocket, and uh, I don't want to have to take it out every time I want to change the song, so that's really cool. Um, I also have one more thing for you to show you. It's called iWhiteboard. Basically, no matter where I am, I can be like in an app. Uh, sometimes I connect this to my TV using a cable I got. Um, if I want to show someone something, like, uh, or if I'm, like, taking pictures, like, uh, for example, here I'm an iFile, and here is PowerPoint I have to do for school, uh, for my college forensic class, and here's, like, the periodic table, right? If I want to, like, underline, uh, or here is notes and stuff. I want to like underline key points. Just double tap. It says drawing mode activated. And you can draw. It's cool. This actually used to be paid. I got it for free. Uh, I, I don't know why. It was just free on Cydia. And uh, you can take screenshots of the underlined stuff. And then you just press the home button again. And there you go. Cleared. <laughs> uh, very cool. So yeah, I've tried to make a lot of shortcuts. Uh, I have uh, also on the top, whenever I slide it, obviously the SB settings, but when I double tap it, I get that thing on the lock screen that has my email and uh, weather and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys and, uh, enjoy this video. I'm just kind of showing you... Uh, my new theme. I, I normally change it like once a week, something like that. But, uh, 
basically just also the shortcuts are really cool. I might make separate videos on just the shortcuts and how to do it. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoy it, guys.